So now we come to connecting our modified customized ramps board to the Arduino. Now, originally this ramps board is designed to just plug into the Arduino and these pins are mapped to certain pins, pins in the Arduino according to certain standard 3D printer softwares. But uh, we're not using this to build a hobby level 3D printer. We're using this to build a precision microscope stage and our needs are different. So I'm going to be mapping the pins of our drivers to custom pins on the Arduino, which are more suitable for precision microscopy. So here is a summary of our electromagnetic shielding precautions. Firstly, all the motor cables, as you can see here, are in twisted pairs. This minimizes emission of unwanted EM signals. Also, the motor cables come up from the top and connect onto the ramps board, as you can see here. But the signal cables all come from the bottom and connect onto the Arduino, as you see here. So we're physically separating the motor cables from the signal cables. Also, we've shielded the uh, signal cables with foil sheeting and with a copper wire wrapped around here to make sure there's good conductivity across all the shielding. And the copper wire comes out here and goes into the ground of the Arduino. Also, separately to this, we have our ground connection from the Arduino to the ramps. And the ground connection is a separate wire that comes in here and goes inside, travels inside this sheath with all the other signal wires. So we're not using the ground sheathing, the ground protection uh, mesh, as our ground connection to the ramps. It's a separate ground connection. Yes, they are both connected to the same ground in the Arduino, but it, you mustn't uh, can use the shielding as your primary ground connection. And the other thing, of course, is that we're using the Trinamic drivers, which have stealth chop, so they don't give very high emission signals. And we are using relatively low current uh, motors, NEMA 11, with 500 milliamps RMS. That helps. And also, we're using only a 12 volt supply, as opposed to a 24 volt supply. So all those things together help to mitigate the effects of unwanted EM radiation noise from the motor cables to the signal cables.